Hello and welcome to Storytime with YDRC. My name is Joanna and today we are going to be continuing The Princess in Black. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about this channel if you haven't already. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So we left off on Chapter 7. The Duchess began to snoop. Princess Magnolia's tower was spotless. The windows were as clear as glass. The couches were as soft as cushions. It was almost too perfect. Something must be amiss. Duchess Wigtower finally opened the closet. Frilly pink dresses, perfect for a princess. She opened drawers, white gloves and flowered headbands, beaded handkerchiefs and crystal bracelets. All were perfect for a princess. Drat, said the Duchess. No one is this perfect. The Duchess was determined to uncover a secret in Princess Magnolia's castle. She just had to look harder. Chapter 8 Duff the Goat Boy settled onto a tree stump. He always enjoyed the Princess in Black's ninja skills. But today he noticed something new. The Princess in Black reminded him of Princess Magnolia. Without her mask, they might even look the same. The Princess in Black was the same height as Duff. So was Princess Magnolia. The Princess in Black had honey brown eyes. So did Princess Magnolia. The Princess in Black had a sparkly tiara. So did Princess Magnolia. Could the two princesses be the same girl? The Princess Magnolia wore glass slippers on weekdays. Princess Magnolia was afraid of snails. Sunlight made Princess Magnolia sneeze. And at the moment, the princess in black was hawk-tying a monster. Duff laughed at his silly imagination. He nibbled some popcorn. He waited for the part when he would cheer. Chapter 9 The Duchess peeked under a table. Not so much as a wad of gum. Was Princess Magnolia as perfect as she seemed? No. Surely everyone had secrets. Duchess Wigtower would find something on this. And here she is looking. The Duchess left Princess Magnolia's tower room. She poked around the th throne room. She examined the ballroom. She explored the kitchen. She even paused to inspect the, co the cookies. Everything was completely perfect. Then she noticed a broom closet. Something was stuck beneath the door. She yanked it free. A pair of coal black stockings. Aha, said the Duchess, black stockings. Everyone knows that princesses don't wear black. Princess Magnolia did indeed have a secret. Duchess Wigtower's frown turned into a crooked smile. Chapter 10. The princess in black was trying not to worry about the nosy duchess. She was busy battling a big blue beast. The monster was just so huge and heavy. It was all tied up, but she couldn't push it back in the hole. Go back in that hole, said the princess in black. Roar, said the big blue monster. Behave, beast, said the princess in black. Roar, said the big blue monster. The princess in black sighed. She raised an eyebrow. Please, she said. The big blue monster sighed too. It rolled into the hole. Duff cheered. The princess in black bowed. Thank you, my friend. Until next time. She patted a goat's head. She sprang onto Blackie's back. They galloped into the forest. She had to get back to Duchess Wigtower. She hoped she wasn't too late. Chapter 11. The big blue monster plopped down into Monsterland. It chewed off the rope. The rope was pretty yummy, but not as yummy as goats. There was a rule not to climb through the hole. Now it remembered why. The sun was too shiny up there. The air was unpleasantly fresh, but that had nothing to do with the rule. Monsters should not climb through the hole because of the princess in black. She would not let them eat goats. 
The big blue monster was going to remind the other monsters about the rule, but then it found a pile of toenail clippings. Yum, it said, and it forgot all about the princess in black. Chapter 12. Duff whistled as he walked his goats home. No goats had been eaten. That meant it had been a good day. All thanks to the princess in black. He wished he could help her, but everyone knows that goat boys do not fight monsters. He thought again about Princess Magnolia possibly being the princess in black. What a clever disguise that would be. No one would suspect a girl in glass slippers. But, of course, it was a silly idea. If the goats stood up on their hind legs, they would be the same height as Duff, just like the princess in black. His goats had honey brown eyes, just like the princess in black. None of them had tiaras, though. A goat would also be an excellent disguise for the princess in black. No one would suspect a goat, just as no one would suspect a goat boy. Duff was getting an idea. Chapter 13. Duff's idea made him smile as he fed the goats. He smiled as he tugged on their nightshirts. He smiled as he kissed them goodnight. And then Duff the goat boy got to work. Goat boys do not get ideas. Goat boys do not fashion masks and capes out of old goat blankets. And goat boys most definitely do not make monster alarms out of goat bells and rope. But then, most goat boys are not the goat avenger in disguise. Duff would exercise, Duff would practice, and perhaps someday, the goat avenger would fight be beside the princess in black. Look out, monsters. Chapter 14. The princess in black high jumped the castle wall. She crawled up the secret chute. Going up was much slower than going down. There were three spiders in the chute. There were two bats. Even worse, there was one very cheeky snail, but the princess in black was not afraid. The tunnel ended in the broom closet. When she emerged from the closet, she was no longer the princess in black. Here she is putting back on her pink outfit. She was Princess Magnolia. Princess Magnolia fixed her hair. She fixed her skirt. She fixed a smile onto her face. The extra belt pair of black stockings she had left on the closet floor were gone. She hadn't noticed. Chapter 15. Princess Magnolia minced into her tower room. So sorry to keep you waiting, said Princess Magnolia. All the birds are well and properly tweeting. Duchess Wigtower took a long sip of cold hot chocolate. She smiled. While you were gone, I toured your castle, said the Duchess. Princess Magnolia froze. You did? Mm-hmm, said the Duchess, and I discovered something in the broom closet. Princess Magnolia gulped. You did? Yes, said the Duchess. These black stockings! I uncovered your secret! Princess Magnolia gasped. You did? Princess Magnolia, these white stockings are so filthy you've turned them as black as coal. You really must wash them. Everyone knows princesses don't wear black. Of course not, said Princess Magnolia. How clever of you. Princess Magnolia smiled. She knew at least one princess who did wear black, but that would remain her secret. And that is the end of The Princess in Black. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and tell any of your friends who might be interested in something like this. My name is Joanna, and that is all for today. Bye!